my name is Desmond Curtin Sr. Uh, I grew up in South Philadelphia, down 7th Street, a long, long time ago. <laughs> and I am a believer in Christ. I'm a proud father of seven. I'm a high school teacher. I'm a barber by trade. I'm a U.S. Army veteran. I'm a college student, uh, in-school DJ, and a mentor. So, Morell Dobbins CTE High School is the only high school that has a barbering program, and that's throughout the whole city of Philadelphia. Um, we are one of a kind. They just finished a brand new facility here, which I'm very proud of. And uh, one of the best things about it is students can come to Dobbins and take barbering. And before they graduate, they will take a state board license exam. My students come, they learn the art, the science, and the business of barbering. They learn enough to where they can take and pass the state board license exam. Upon passing the license exam, before graduation, when they cross that stage to get that diploma, not only do they have a high school diploma, but they have a career already in their pocket. Like, what's better than that? I do this type of work because I believe at some point when you have a trade, like I've been a barber since I was 10. After a while, I realized that I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. It could be because even though the money is good, you get tired. And I know that at some point, I'm not always gonna be here. So I decided I wanna be in the classroom, I wanna teach. A friend of mine said, you should go to that career fair they're having at the school district. So I went down there, I talked to the barber teacher that was currently here at, at that time, and she said, come volunteer. So I started volunteering at Dobbins. I would come in like once or twice a week and really be hands-on with the young people, teaching them how to cut, helping them understand professional image. And then all of a sudden, before I knew it, I was the full-time teacher here at Dobbins. And I take that role seriously because young people who come from all walks of life, who may not have like, you know, the best of anything or best of everything at home, no matter what their circumstance is, they have an opportunity here to change that and to be able to stand on their own two feet and use their hands and talk to people and make money. I believe that at some point, young people want to know how are you different from other adults? Because a lot of young people are used to adults letting them down. I'm not their teacher. I'm the teacher that if you don't do an assignment, I will haunt you. <laughs> and I'm the teacher that when I see that you're struggling a little bit, I'll step right in and give you an opportunity and a different way to, to look at it. And maybe take a step back from it and then see it with a different set of eyes. Um, there are black men who understand that I'm not going to let you down at some point, young person. I'm not going to run away from you. I'm not going to chastise you and beat you up over you making a mistake. I'm going to provide a safe place for you to learn and grow and become confident in the gifts that God gave you and being able to use them to affect change within yourself and with the people around you.